So this question comes from Chris. Um, I have always wondered and was wanting to know more recently, what is the difference between LAN, local area network, WAN, wide area network, and PAN, personal area network? I do know that LAN can be used for small or large networks, so why do the other two exist and what is their purpose or advantage? So LAN and WANs have been around forever. Uh, and pans are kind of a new thing. They're the product of this new world of wearable technologies. So basically LAN is a local area network. So when we're talking about local area networks, basically we're talking about uh, small confined networks uh, generally behind a single router. So you have one router coming into a premises, uh, that goes into a switch or any number of switches, and then all the computers that are connected to those switches are part of the LAN. So that's the local area network. Local area networks are Generally, uh, they're either buildings, um, so if you're dealing with a reasonable size building, um, like, um, I don't know, a building with eh, somewhere between 100, 100 to 500 people, that may be its own single LAN, uh, there can be sometimes a LAN can be an entire floor. So if you go into these really massive buildings, so like the World Trade Center or something that just have millions and millions and millions of square feet, maybe a single floor will be a LAN. But the idea is it's basically all the computers are, that are connected to the switches behind a single router. Then you have WANs, wide area networks. So the thing is, is basically what routers do. Routers basically try to confine the communication of all of these different computers and devices uh, to, to something that the network can manage. Because again, when you're dealing with, uh, with the Ethernet uh, standard, uh, you have collisions. So, you know, when people try to talk at the same time, there's collisions. Uh, the, you know, when, when this computer sends out packets, and this computer sends out packets, if those packets collide, then all the computers that can hear that collision then wait a random amount of time before they try to talk again. And so the issue is, is the more computers you have on any LAN, local area network, the more chance there is for collision. Every time there's a collision, that slows down the entire network. So if you have a zillion computers on one LAN, uh, badness will ensue. Basically, the computers will all try to communicate at the same time, and packets will collide, and there'll be reset periods, and it's nastiness. Uh, so what you do is you put a router uh, on the network and you basically you try to to shrink the size uh, of, of the network so that there's only so many computers or devices on that network to communicate at any one time and you keep it in the low hundreds maybe up to a thousand depending on what you're doing uh, and the equipment you have uh, when the idea is is so on that particular network segment uh, there won't be so much communication happening that it ends up that none of the Computers, computer, computers can communicate. So that's where you have the router. Well, then what you have is a WAN, the wide area network, is let's say you go to a campus, right? So you go to a campus facility from Microsoft or Google or any of these, and they have multiple buildings. So they've got, they've got let's say, 20 buildings. So each building has its own LAN that then connects into a router. The routers then all connect somewhere into a main hub, and that becomes the WAN. So the LAN is the individual building. The WAN is all the buildings on the campus, right? And they're all they're all confined by that router to keep communication and security. And, ugh, there's a lot that goes into it, but that's the difference between a LAN and a WAN. Then, then uh, now there are these things called PANs. PANs, I think they just called it a PAN because they already had LAN, WAN, they actually had MAN, they had uh, metropolitan area networks at one point. Uh, but, but basically what PANs are is they're the devices that are on your body, personal area network, the devices that you use that communicate with each other. So if you have a smartwatch that is talking to your smartphone, that is a PAN, that's a personal area network. So if you have a smartwatch that talks to your smartphone and you have Google Glasses on, that is your own little personal area network. Most of these nowadays use like the Bluetooth technology in order to communicate back and forth, um, and that's its own little deal. Again, is it the same? I would argue PANs really shouldn't, I, I would argue honestly that they should have come up with a different name other than PAN for what a PAN is, because it's not the same thing as a LAN and a WAN and a MAN, um, but I, I, I guess they just lumped it all the same. So there we go, there we go. So LANs, segment off uh, the computers into a collision domain that is small enough uh, that the computers can all talk to each other. The WAN is all of these different LANs that are connected for one, like one company. So again, Google has a WAN, Microsoft has a WAN, IBM has a WAN. They don't, they don't, they don't talk. Um, 
Microsoft's WAN doesn't talk to Facebook's WAN, if that makes sense. Uh, and then PAN is, is the wearable thing. So yeah, that's all it is.